Well, last month it was revealed that the Social Services Department's Child Welfare Unit is removing children from their homes every week and placing them in safer environments due to physical abuse and child neglect. Many of those children end up housed at the Grand Bahama Children's Home. Tonight, officials at the home tell our ZNS News team that it is impacting their service as they are now at maximum capacity. Imagine being taken from your home and placed in an environment with strangers. Well, institutionalized living is now the reality for scores of youngsters who were placed at the Grand Bahama Children's Home because they were either being physically abused or neglected by their parents or guardians. We've gone from anywhere from 20, 21 children, and we're now at our capacity having 30 children. That means that with the care that we'll have to give them, not only providing food, but the emotional um, care and attention that we have to give them is then a strain because we have to regroup to make sure that we're giving them what they need because they've been so um, quickly removed from their parents. The children's home has two buildings in which the children live. Before the number of children increased, they were grouped and housed by age and gender. But now, because of the large number, girls are in one and the boys in the other. Hutchison says this creates an even bigger problem because the young kids are now in housing with teenagers. So it creates circumstances that we want to not have in the same house. We have to be fair and, and watch children's growth and development and make sure that we're acting um, appropriate for that. This does not allow because of the amount of children that we now have because of the removal of children from parents. Removing a child from his or her house is a painful and traumatic experience for the child and many of them are scarred and hurting. It will vary, so we can have some that are very withdrawn and it takes a while for them to come out of that shell. And then we'll have some that are very angry and, um, and that's mainly the boys, very angry about what's happened and why they're here and they don't want to comply and they, sometimes they want to go home. Um, a variety of reactions. But just how long are the kids staying at the home? That's a million dollar question. She says that most of the kids have spent most of their lives at the home and that those who have returned to their families often end up back at the children's home. You cannot imagine how traumatic that is for them and also for us to have to see that. It's it's a that's a bad feeling. It's a bad because it says you didn't want me or you couldn't take care of me. Okay, you have me back and now I have to come back to this place. Hutchison says that a serious look at what is going on in the socioeconomic lives of Grand Bahamians is needed. The sad part is some of these children have parents that should be paying more attention to them. So even if it's not your mother, maybe it's your father, your Grammy, that can take you but are not coming forward to do so right here in our little country. It's sad. It's very sad. 